Hello, my name is Patrick Dreher. I'm right here in the Houston Natural Science Museum and we're building up here an exhibition about my family history on showing around 130 pieces from four generations. So um, how I come to this profession was very easy. I get born in this family and uh, I continue the tradition of my family. In Germany, the gemstone carver profession had um, a three and a half years apprenticeship time. In this time, you study under a master carver in his workshop. In my case, it was my father, he teach me. After three and a half years, you make a um, kind of diploma work in theoretical part and also one carving in um, practical work. And if you pass this diploma, you can name journeyman in German, Geselle. Uh, it takes some four or five years more during working and then you can go to the master degree or to master level. Also, you study under your master carver and he teach you all what you need. Uh, in general, when my father was still alive, we both produced per year 12 to 15 pieces. So that means you can say each month one piece. Um, normally, it's, I need around 80 to 400 working hours to finish one piece from the start till the end. Depends on the size of the carving for sure, depends on the gemstone and also for the animal which I do. Um, to give you a short uh, look how we work, in general there are three possibilities. That for example a client has a gemstone, he comes to us and we discuss what is possible to carve out those gemstones. Um, the second way is that um, a client come to us and say I want to have a gorilla and we sit and look what's the best material for this and if we can support it or can buy it in Niederoberstein. The third way is that uh, we have in Oberstein a lot of gemstone dealers, rough stone dealers, um, where all the minerals and uh, gemstones from all over the world come to Oberstein and get traded. Uh, we have very good contacts with those people and often when new shipments come, they call us, that they have new stones, we go and look. Um, sometimes it happens that you find a gemstone and you have immediately the idea what to do with this gemstone. Sometimes it could also take months, even years to find the right use for the gemstones. But in the third way, we try to keep really flexible. That is, we have no influence from any client. Um, we work uh, completely free after our idea, after our design. We perform the work. Uh, maybe 30% of the work and then during all this time visitors come to our workshop and see this half finished or started project and they ask what it is and we explain that gives us this carving and mostly the people please finish it me free I will buy it. I would say the most big challenge in this gemstone business special is in animal carvings is first to handle the stone. Each stone is different if you have an agate or a quartz or obsidian, even a topaz. So you need really to know how to handle a stone. The next challenge what I see is um, to get the animal out of the stone. And not only to get it out, also that it is correct in the dimensions, that it has a movement, um, that it looks lifelike. Because even as kids we learned how an animal looks like. So anybody understand an elephant, how a mouse looks like and uh, other animals. And even the kids see that if the animal is wrong carved, they understand it immediately that it's not right in dimension. And that is one of also the big dimension to get that out of the stone in the right dimensions. I think the support which my family get from the Houston Museum of Natural Science is very, very important for each artist, especially for us. Um, that we have this sh showroom to show our work, that a lot of people can come see the works. And that is one of the biggest things what the Houston Museum does for us.